All right, what's going on, fellow nerds? This right here is my new Midnight MacBook Air M4 chip. And today we're gonna to be talking about RAM. I am the expert on RAM. Okay, I'm not, but let me tell you why I'm decently qualified to talk about this. Number one, I own three MacBooks now. MacBook Air M1, my wife uses it. It was her laptop primarily. Amazing laptop, still works five years later. Eight gigs of RAM. Then I switched to the MacBook Air M2, 16 gigs of RAM. Amazing laptop. And here's the MacBook Air M4 with 24 gigs of RAM. So this video, it's not gonna be very long. But when it comes to RAM, first of all, the general rule is when it comes to RAM, you can never have too much. And if you have to choose, again, this is my opinion, feel free to disagree in the comments below, but if you have to choose between RAM and physical storage on your device, on your laptop, your iPad, whatever it may be, I would go with RAM. Meaning I would rather have 16 gigs of RAM and 256 solid state drive, 256 of storage, as opposed to eight gigs of RAM and 500 of storage. Most of what we do is cloud-based. Most of what I do on my laptop is just, can I multitask or not? And so based on that information alone, you can't have too much RAM. Now that being said, I've, I've had all three, right? All M series, quick, great performance laptops. The biggest jump is from eight to 16. And I had someone comment on one of my videos saying 24 gigs of RAM is not a lot. I think that's bogus. 24 gigs of RAM is definitely a lot, but what are you doing? Are we, are we editing full 4K, 8K Hollywood style videos? Are you doing multiple projects, editing on Photoshop and you know, doing engineering and software engineering, all these models, like it just depends guys. But 24 gigs of RAM, I mean, this is good enough to do a, a you know, Skype call with an Excel document, a Word document and 20 internet tabs open at the same time and run like that, smooth like butter. By the way, this storage is 500 gigs, but again, I'm, I'll probably end up using 300, you know, just above the 250. My point being, if you want to use a laptop, and this is my experience to edit videos, light videos, such as the one that you're watching here that just has a few cuts edits, nothing fancy. If you want to do a lot of things at a time, 24 gigs so far has been plenty in my experience. And this is on the air. This is not the MacBook pro now. The MacBook Air 16 gigs, also great. Frankly, the only reason I switched to this one is because it's for my work and because it had more storage and I thought, I wanna future-proof this bad boy, buy nice or buy twice. I'm a big fan of buying something really nice, maybe even a little nicer than you need, so it will last a long time. And that's what I do with this Mac. My MacBook Air M2, personal use one, I've never had any issues with it. It's held up completely fine. The MacBook Air M1, same thing except for editing videos and once you start to multitask a ton of things, eight gigs of RAM can only get you so far. Eight gigs is, eight gigs is gonna be great if you need it for Microsoft Word, a few internet tabs at a time, and nothing more. Um, if you need anything more than that, I go to 16 gigs and if you can afford it, get as much RAM as you can possibly afford, frankly, because I don't think you'll regret it, so. That's my take on how much RAM you need. Again, I'm not an expert, but I've had all three and they were all great computers and really anything above 16, I was happy with. So I'm gonna sum this all up in one sentence here. If you are the average person, and in my eyes, the average person is doing a lot of web browsing, YouTube videos, and maybe a little work in Excel on the side and video conferencing, 16 gigs is probably gonna make the most sense. And this isn't just for MacBooks. I just happen to be a MacBook person. Anything above that? gravy. You'll be happy for sure. So here's the thumbnail.